Hello. Hey, Vito. It's Eddie. Hey, Eddie. What's up? I need you to come over to Joe's right now. <sighs> yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What's happening? I, I can't tell you over the phone. All right. I'll be right there. Tell me what you need, sir. All fixed. Good as new. Are you looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. You can paint it any color you like. Take your pick.
WCLA, Empire Bay's news home. I'm Gary Stevens. Wildfires devastate much of the westernmost states today. Residents were forced to flee from their homes earlier today as fires raged across much of the west coast. The fires started early yesterday and have quickly engulfed thousands of acres of land. Volunteers from across the country have joined the fight against the flames that investigators believe, at least for now, are the result of dry conditions and high winds. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Gary Stevens. Looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Here you go. Pick a design. Thanks, Fido. Appreciate the business. Well, Mr. Scaletta, good morning. Just tell me what you need, sir. Looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Thanks a lot, pal. I appreciate the business. Standard for home radios with the RCO Fiber Radio, featuring the most precise tuning technology this vision, bringing the wonder of color to homes around the country. Now, Empire Electronics is proud to introduce the P52 Portable Telephone, the first ever portable telephone, featuring a cord so long it allows you to go just about anywhere. Empire Electronics, paving the way for the future with luxury and design for the modern home.
Man, I went on with a baseball bat, and they looked like they were scared till morning, yesterday. Fellas. Oh, hey, good morning, Vito. Marty, what are you doing here? Joe said you needed help. And since I did good with the greases, he said he'd take me along again. Take you along again for what, exactly? They're waiting for you. Yeah, well, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah, that's my man, Vito. <laughs> morning, Mr. Falcone. Hi, Vito. Take a seat. Hey, guys. <clears throat> so what's happening? I heard how you got rid of Luca, Vito. Good job. Thanks to you, we now have proof that Clemente was behind the attack on our guys. We couldn't do anything to him openly till now. He just cut his own throat. He kidnapped and tortured our guys, and that means war. Anything we do now, I'm going to be able to justify before the commission. Alberto knows this, so he's going to act quickly and try and come after us first. So we're going to take out Clemente. Exactly. Turns out Clemente called a big meeting in the Empire Arms Hotel today. This is our best chance to get rid of him and his top guys. Oh, sure, yeah. We'll just waltz right in there and kill a few dozen heavily armed men in broad daylight in the nicest hotel in town. Is that about right? Don't worry. I got a plan. Shit! Joe, put that thing away. Eddie, don't worry. It's safe. I just gotta For press Christ's this. Sake, put it away now. Okay, What's the matter with okay. You? You're such a chicken shit. Okay, okay, so now we're gonna waltz right in and blow up the nicest hotel in town. Isn't that overkill? Don't worry. This thing ain't that powerful. It won't blow up the whole building, but everybody in the room where it goes off is dead meat. How are we gonna know when to detonate it? We'll use a window washing platform. We'll almost be able to watch it explode. Since when are you the smart one? Okay, fellas. I'm counting on you. If all goes well, I'll have something nice for you. When it's over, call Eddie at this number. Oh, by the way, I closed the bar today, just in case Alberto tried something. Hey, good luck, fellas. Hey, what about that kid in the hallway? You mean Marty? Uh, he ain't part of the organization, so he had to wait outside. I mean, why is he here at all? Why do you think? He's going with us because we need a getaway driver and somebody to cover our asses. What do you got against him anyway? I known him since he was a little kid, and he saved my ass with them greases. Yeah, but we're not fighting a bunch of drunk dirtbags this time. We're about to take out the most powerful family in this city, and you're bringing a kid. And how old were you when you started doing this shit? You're talking like you're some old fart. Look, Vito, he's gonna wait in the car outside and drive us away. That's it. He ain't even gonna know what we're doing there. He's a great driver, and that's exactly what we need on this one. Okay, Joe, whatever. But I'm telling you right now, this is a bad idea. Hey, Joe. So, uh, what kind of job is it? The kind you don't need to know about. Gabish. Oh, okay. But hey, if you need it, I got my piece. Right here. Yeah, all right, slow down, Billy the Kid, all right? It's not gonna be necessary. Let's just go. Take my car. All right, I'll drive. Just don't go busting it up on the way there. This is our getaway car. Plus, I'm pretty sure that explosives and car crashes don't go together too good. Explosives? <laughs> yeah, for a little fireworks show. Forget you heard that. We're going to the Empire Arms Hotel. Park in the underground parking lot, 
and use the back entrance. So, uh, fellas, come on, tell me. What's going down at the hotel, huh? Huh, come on! Well, what are you, writing a book? I already told you everything you need to know. Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just curious, you know? All this secrecy. Marty, all this secrecy is important. The less you know, the better off you are. And if you keep asking questions, I'm just gonna have to find somebody else to drive us next time. Okay, okay! No more questions. Sure, sure, whatever. You're gonna blow the hotel sky high, huh? Marty! Sorry, sorry. One more word out of you. All right, sorry. Not another word. Cross my heart. All right, here's the hotel. The entrance to the garage is on the other side. Park in there. And hey, we gotta leave all our guns in the car. The last thing we need is one of Clemente's goons searching us and finding them. All right, Vito and me will go in and do what needs to be done. You wait for us here. When you hear a big boom, start the car up, because we're gonna need to get the hell out of here pronto. And you won't need that gun unless somebody follows us, but that shouldn't happen. Okay, okay, I got you, Joe. Clemente rented the entire 18th floor, the third one from the top. There's a couple of suites and conference rooms up there, and guards. So how are we gonna get up there? Round the back, through the laundry room. Why, you wanna wash your shorts before we do this? Wise ass. The meeting hasn't started yet. We'll grab some hotel worker uniforms, then we'll go do a little cleaning upstairs. Seriously? When did you become the smart one? Fuck off. There's supposed to be a guy waiting for us inside with the uniforms. Let's go. And we don't want to make a ruckus before Clemente gets here, so don't go doing nothing stupid. <laughs> Shouldn't I be telling you that? Stay here. Ah, uh, where's the fucking bridesmaid? Ah, shit. It's closed. The idiot was supposed to leave it open for us. Now we gotta wait and hope that asshole shows up. Fuck! Can't we just get in some other way? You could try, but I'm gonna wait here for a while just in case Numbnut shows up. That lazy piece of shit.
Pardon me, sir. Are you a guest at the hotel? Another minute, you would have been late to your own damn funeral. Sorry, I was... All right, enough. Just get the hell out of here. See? I got it all under control. Come on, let's go pick up our uniforms. Vito, one more thing. Here, put this on. Are you fucking serious? So nobody recognizes us. Just put it on. Great. Let's go. Hey, you two. Get over here. Clean up this fucking mess, you idiots. Clean this shit up, will you? Somebody's gonna slip and break their neck. Let's go. Move it. Hey, you two. You got some more work upstairs waiting for you. Get moving. Hey, Richie, come with us. That was fucking Henry. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get up there before he gets back. Seen Henry in a while. Hasn't changed a bit. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I hope he don't come back before we do our thing. Henry's good people, even if he does work for Clemente. Yeah, but what if he does? Don't even think about that. I feel like an idiot with this thing on my lip. Yeah? Well, what if we run into somebody we know? This way, they won't recognize us. Fucking hope so. About damn time. Where the hell you guys been? Somebody spilt something in the conference room. He ain't gonna ask what it is, or how it got there. You're just gonna clean it up. There's a big meeting starting soon. And the boss ain't gonna be too happy if the place ain't sparkling by then. So if you know what's good for you, you'll get the place spick and span, and then get the fuck out of there. These two are here to clean up the, uh, mess. The mess? Oh, that mess. All right, come on, you two. One of the guys who was, uh, here before, he, uh, tripped and fell. So now there's blood all over the fucking place, and we got a meeting that's supposed to start soon. So you gotta get this shit cleaned up, and you gotta make it snappy. Tricks. Hey, calm down, will ya? They're not gonna be around to bother you much longer. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Give me a hand here. Oh, shit. Uh, that. The. Oh, fuck. Uh, the yellow. The blue. And the plus. And the plus. And, uh, 
the red and matching the negative neck of the blue and cross over here. Perfect. Okay, the hard part is almost over. <clears throat> Over here, clean this too. There, looks like you're done. All right, you can get out of here. Okay, now let's get to the roof. Damn, I ain't used to this much exercise. Why did I gotta put so many fucking stairs? What do you want me to carry you? Vito, Vito, hold on. I forgot something. Yeah, this is for you. Just in case something goes wrong. This is nice. Some piece of work, huh? 1911 coal with a modified the clip. Hell did you, uh... Holds 23 bullets, so the ammo goes quick. And don't go losing it. These are the only two in the whole world. Thanks. Never mind. We gotta go to the window washing platform. Come on. What are you looking at? Yeah, come down and give me a fucking smack. Shit, these guys. guys. Fuck me. All right, let's get out of here. This is like an oyster. Hold on, hold on, check it out. Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Get lost. Shit. Okay, Vito. You're fucking dead! Oh, that's the best you got! Going in! Oh. Fuck.
Come out of your hole, you fucking rat! Way to go, Vito! Be careful, there might be more in here. Back me up, Vito! Takes care of that. I hope nobody heard us up here. Nah, buildings like this got soundproof windows. And we're so high up, nobody on the street could have heard us neither. Come on, let's get to the window washing platform. What the hell are you two doing? I wasn't done with my. Oh, shit. Jesus, okay. Okay, don't shoot. I'll do whatever you say. All right, put your hands behind your back. We ain't gonna hurt you. Here's some tape. Tie him up. You should consider yourself lucky. Everybody else got shot. Okay, get on. We got work to do. How much wire you got? Enough. How much is enough? Will it reach up to the roof? Of course not. We'll just go up one or two floors and blow it. So much for you being a smart one. What? This is crazy. What if the explosion takes us out, too? It won't. We'll barely feel it. You better not. If we fall off this thing, you're gonna be dead before we hit the ground. Okay, this is the right floor. 
Vito, grab the squeegee and start washing windows so we don't look suspicious. I gotta connect the wires. What the fuck are you waiting for? This ain't no fucking peep show. Get back to work. Up a bit. Payback's a bitch. Ah, yeah, just like clockwork. <laughs> We'll barely feel it, all right? All right, all right. Let's go take a look. I don't know why I fucking listen to you. I swear, you're like a half a retard sometimes. Ah, what the... Shh, yes. Christ, right, I almost pissed on my fucking shoes what in here. What a fucking mess. Felt like a fucking earth, but... What the fuck? Oh, shit! Lucky bastard. You assholes! You're gonna die for this! You're gonna get away! Come on, Fido! Hey, you sure made one hell of a mess. Yeah, but it wasn't enough. Move it! No! I didn't do anything! No! Must have watered down his martini. in your hand, I'll shoot you myself. Hey, you sure made one hell of a mess. Yeah, but it wasn't enough. Move it! 